The rudimental etude at the bottom of page 27 incorporates the flam paradiddle. So it goes without saying that you need to be able to play perfect flam paradiddles before you attempt this etude. Now usually we set the tempo of the rudimental etudes based off of how fast you can play double strokes or multiple bounces. In this rudimental etude you need to set your tempo based off of how fast you can play perfect flam paradiddles. So hopefully you've worked on the flam paradiddle for several days before you attempt this. Set your metronome on 80 beats per minute or 90 beats per minute and see if you can play perfect flam paradiddles. However fast you can play those, that is the tempo you need to take the etude. Now, there's not a whole lot to this etude if you look through it because we're kind of slowing down a little bit based off of the tempos that we've played the previous rudimental etude. So all the rolls should be easy, all of any, any other rudiments involved should be pretty easy. What I do want to recommend is that you remember on each one of your rests to look ahead to see which hand you're going to lift for the next downstroke. So in measure one, flam a did do flam, on the rest I'm going to lift my right hand because I need to play another accent on my right hand. Here is the rudimental attitude at 90 beats per minute. So not very difficult if you've got perfect flam paradiddles. Now listen to the sound of your flams. It's so much, it's so important that when I do this with my class and I'm taking a grade on it, I take off five points for each pop flam. Flams are that important. So if you can play your flam paradiddles at 100, play the etude at 100. 120, whatever you can do that, just make sure they're perfect. If you've worked up all of lesson 10 and you've perfected the duet and the timing exercise and the flam paradiddle and you know how to count dotted quarter notes, then you're ready to go on to the graduation test section two.